Hi everyone, our subject today is wheezing in pediatrics. Wheezing is a high-pitched musical sound caused by obstruction of the lower intrathoracic airways. The etiologies for wheezing are numerous. The clinical uh, significance of the underlying problems can range from mild to severe. Inquire about risk factors for respiratory problems such as prematurity in two patients, chronic medical problems, and hospitalization. The review of system should include signs and symptoms such as fever, weight loss, night sweats, and dysphagia. Inquire specifically about any recent shocking episode and about medication. Specifically, inquire if the child was ever prescribed an inhaler in, the, in their past, as well as a family history of asthma and allergies, signs of respiratory distress, example like nasal flaring, grunting, accessory muscle use, retraction, should be noted as should chest wall asymmetry and chest exposure. How to approach to a child with wheezing after performing history and physical examination, either it is acute or chronic or recurrent. If it is acute, is there sign or symptom of infection present? If it is yes, consider chest x-ray. Differential diagnosis may include asthma, initial manifestation only. Uh, bronchiolitis, pneumonia, viral, mycoplasma pneumonia, chlamydia pneumonia, or uh, other respiratory problems. Uh, if there is no uh, infectious cause, is there history of choking episode? If it is yes, child may need bronchoscopy if uh, highly suspicious versus CT or fluoroscope. This is maybe foreign body aspiration. If there is no history of choking episode, is there associated symptom suggestive of allergic reaction like hives, pruritus, nasal or ocular symptoms, history of allergies with or without exposure to known allergens? If it is yes, this is allergic reaction. If there is no allergic exposure, obtain chest x-ray. If it is a normal result, this is maybe a retent inhalation or foreign body. If it is abnormal, this is also may include foreign body, pulmonary oedema, cardiogenic and non-cardiogenic, aspiration, pneumonia. If it is chronic or recurrent, is there history and physical examination suggestive of asthma? Recurrent episode, wars with the exercise, frequent nocturnal cough, family history of asthma. If it is present, this is asthma, of course. If it is not present, obtain chest x-ray, either normal or abnormal. If it is abnormal result, this may include congestive heart failure, other causes of pulmonary oedema, hyalur adenopathy, infectious tumor, other masses, lesion, tumor, hemangiomas, foreign body, recurrent aspiration, bronchiolitis, obliterans, other interstitial disorder. If it is normal or inconclusive, is there any sign or symptom suggestive of a specific disorder present? If it is not present, consider barium, esophagogram, CT or MRI, NGO, Eco bronchoscopy. This is may va uh, vascular ring or sling or other congenital malformation or foreign body. If there is a specific uh, disorder sign or symptom of specific disorder, is it present since birth? This is tracheobronchomalacia or uh, exposure to inhalants. This is inhalant reaction or hypersensitivity. Asthma symptom are responsive to therapy. This may be due to vocal cord dysfunction, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, or the, is there a tachypnea, history of prematurity. This may be neonatal chronic lung disease, bronchopulmonary dysplasia. 
is there recurrent spino uh, sinopulmonary infection failure to thrive a patient need sweat chloride test with or without referral for evaluation of ciliary function a differential diagnosis may include primary ciliary dyskinesia cystic fibrosis and bronchiectasis recommended investigation full uh, blood count leukocytosis and blood culture if there is a strider is suspected to be uh, due to epiglottitis a blood for chromosomal analysis if chiari duchat is suspected chest x-ray often required with more persistent symptoms lung function test in persistent wheezing peak flow measurement in children older than five years direct laryngoscopy for unusual features of strider video recording the respiratory noises by the parents is helpful to differentiate noises top tips when parents report their child has a wheeze the clinician must confirm it children may have uh, rattles or strider doctor should Im imitate a wheeze or to ask the parent to imitate the sound Extrathoracic obstruction produce inspiratory strider while the intrathoracic obstruction produce wheeze. The association of uh, hoarseness and strider suggests an obstruction at the vocal cord of the pharynx. When the cuff is present, the trachea is involved. Red flags. A diagnosis of inhalation of foreign body causing strider or wheeze should never be missed. A major error in misdiagnosing strider from an upper airway obstruction as wheeze leading to incorrect treatment that can be life-threatening in contrast to other respiratory noises expiratory grunt is usually a serious sign seen in a neonate in association with respiratory distress syndrome in uh, older children with pneumonia. Thank you for your listening.